Hey everyone, Lone Wolf Jedi here, and as promised, I am going to do a review on the Academy Award winning film, The Hurt Locker. Let me get the uh, legal stuff out of the way here. The Hurt Locker is, like I said, an Academy Award winning film. It was directed by the uh, Best Director winner, Catherine, B Catherine Bigelow. Written by Best Original Screenplay winner Mark Bowl, and it's distributed by Summit Entertainment. The Hurt Locker stars Jeremy Renner, Anthony Mackey, and Brian Garrity. Now, The Hurt Locker basically centers around, um, you know, quick quick summary here. It centers around a EOD squad. EOD stands for Explosive Ordnance Disposal. And um, it, uh, it, it's, it centers around the squad of these guys in during the Iraq War. And um, I actually saw this as, out of a request from one of the uh, people that works in the building I work at. And um, he said that this is a great film. And this is actually the second time in as many years that this guy has said that this that the movie is a great film and it's went on to win an Oscar. Last year he suggested I see Slumdog Millionaire and that ended up, of course we all know, won, won the Oscar last year. Now, um, this movie, it I'm normally not a big fan of war movies or, excuse me there, or, uh, you know, military or war movies in general, but I like it when it centers around a specific group of people. I mean, one of my favorite, one of my all-time favorite war movies is um, is uh, Saving Private Ryan, and uh, I also don't normally I also don't normally like war movies that are based in that are centered, that, that are, uh, you know, uh, ha that take place during wars that we Americans have no business being in. I mean, two of my all-time favorites, well, now it's two, actually take place during um, movie and wars that we had no business doing in the first place. Uh, this one and the other one being... Um, we were soldiers, which takes place during the Vietnam War. We had no business during that one as well. But um, um, back to this movie. Personally, I think that this is one of, if not the best movie, centered around that. Well, not centered. Around, take, that takes place during the Iraq War. And uh, actually, I, I personally, I think the guys in the EOD, Explosive Ordnance Deta Disposal, I think they're pretty much nuts. <laughs> I mean, come on. Anytime you are working with explosives, you have got to be a bit crazy. And uh, these guys, they their, their job is to go in, find explosives, diffuse them, and that's it. Um, I have actually first heard about the uh, EOD squad in the old 70s TV series MASH. <laughs> yeah, uh, there was one character who was being heckled by some of the other uh, soldiers, and he said, "You know, I'm going to go into EOD." And he was eventually stopped by uh, by by Hawkeye. Anyway, back on the back on the Hurt Locker. One of my favorite, well, actually, my favorite scene in this movie. It takes place in one of their one of their jobs, one of their jobs that they're doing. They have to the 
the main character, uh, Jeremy Renner, who plays um, Sergeant First Class William James, has to go in and defuse a bomb that's in a vehicle. Well, it's more than just one bomb. It is multiple bombs in the vehicle. Basically, it was enough to take out everything in within everything in like a five or ten mile radius. Well, and in, and since he knew that it was so bad, he took off all his EOD gear. All he was wearing was his was his fatigues, and he uh, and he was and he had his radio on. They were wondering, "What the hell are you doing?" He says, "If I'm going to go out, I'm going to go out comfortable." Kind of made me laugh in that scene. I mean, it's 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 just perfect right there. I mean, the guy is going to go if I I would agree with him. If I was in that same situation, I would do the same thing. If I'm going to go out, I'm going to go out comfortable. I don't want all this crap all over me because this crap is not going to take. This crap is going to be worse shit, and when I'm taking the full force of an explosion. Um. Another aspect of the story that they cover is how they treat each other. At first, he was, you know, um, at first, sar- the uh, at first, Sergeant Sergeant James was uh, not really well accepted by the group, but eventually they came to understand him and, you know, how how he was and all that. Um, he does end up. Uh, le- uh, you know, finishing his tour in Iraq, but it's basically one of those once you've done it kind of things. You, it you cannot get it out of your head, and he ends up going back for another tour of duty in Iraq, and um, that's pretty much the movie in a nutshell. And uh, like I said, it won. It was nominated for nine Academy Awards. It won six. Um. Catherine Bigelow won the Best Director Award. She beat out her ex-husband James Cameron and also became the first woman to ever win the Best Director. Um, It also won some of the uh, technical awards, won Best Original Screenplay, and of course Best Picture. Um, The only non-technical, non it, it, the only award, one of the only awards it didn't win, was the Best Actor award for Jer- <coughs> for uh, uh, that which which uh, Jeremy Renner was nominated, and um, well, what can I say about this movie besides it was an awesome movie. I I liked the story. It was very good, and um, well. That's going to be it for, the, for this review, and uh, I'm going to let you know that my next video is actually going to be a follow-up. It's a request made by someone who made a comment on one of my early, early videos, and I'm going to um, obligate that person's request. And then it's going to be a follow-up video on my Final Fantasy 3 slash 6 review. Alright, until then, this is Lone Wolf Jazz saying thank you for watching, and have a nice day.